it was really just shit preparations. Like yeah. there's really no other word for it except for it was shit preparations. Um, they put us in ultra. Mm -hmm. So imagine ultra hasn't been used for no. years and years and years. And t for this tournament, we were they put us in ultra, but we were training in Rizal. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine even just the drives for from ultra to Rizal? And in ultra, there were mushrooms growing inside the cabinets of the rooms. Mm -hmm. There were there's like moss underneath like the tiles, and you could hear like you can hear it when you step, like you can hear the so it's not like you know stable floors outside of the dorm room and that's dorm rooms of like you know 10 girls per room 10 girls in another mm -hmm. room some girls got like uh bed bugs bed bugs, yeah. uh, bed bugs and then outside would be like just literally like cat shit mm. like right right outside and then there's also cats there and i think there was one time that there was a rat even like just outside <laughs> and we were staying there and we were training in Rizal. It would take us two hours to get back, you know, at night. And then in the morning again, you're training in Rizal. And then another one hour and a half to get back. And then you're staying in Ultra because it's free. And I don't know, like, but it was just really bad. Like, even also, like, at that time, it was under um, Coach Buddha. She wasn't very um, effective as a coach at that moment. And... Maybe because of the conditions yeah, you're, conditions you're, you're also, facing. Also, like same as a coach, like it's also frustrating that mm. this is what the PFF gives you. This is their budget for you. But then, for me, like there's, it's not being maarte, but there's hazardous. It's you know like sanitary, like sanitary issues and concerns. So, I guess all of that and a lot of other outside concerns making us train in San Beda, where it's like the pitch was you know mm. non-existent. And, you know, even like right before we would leave. So it's just that being in the national team for such a long time, you know, you know, at least what you deserve. And so when they give you something that's really just, you know, here, like, you know, just like find that, like, you know, they, don't, they didn't even like put enough care for their players to even just give them proper living, a yeah. proper living area for mm. their preparations and, no, not there's no money. There, I mean, not like money is important, but like not even a per dime. Like girls were hungry in the airport. Like you know, we had ten dollars each. You had to budget your money of like, okay, what you know, you have to even search around the airport and look like what can my money afford me to buy because you're hungry. But you know, other girls also didn't have other like you know they didn't bring pocket money. Not everyone has even extra money, but you know, we were paying ourselves to be able to play. We were paying to play. And so it was just really like really bad preparations. And, and what everything. was the preparation for? For which competition um, was this? AFF. AFF. Same in, tournament. Same yeah. Now. Just in Myanmar back in 2016. Yeah. And so it just came to a point that it was just really bad. And I l cried almost like every week. I would cry. And I would even talk to the coach. I said, hey, coach, I can get you this. Like, um, I can try to get, get you BGC. Let me know. I'll get you BGC. I said, coach, we need this in the, the rooms. And so I bought, like, tiles. I bought, like, you know, like, I would buy mm -hmm. things. And, like, these aren't, that's not my job. Like, I'm just supposed to play. Like, as much as possible, the job of a player is just to play. You shouldn't give them any other obstacles or struggles. They should just be focusing on the game. I think that that's what you could only require from your players mm. is to just focus on the game. But to have your players, you know, cleaning every day. Cleaning. Literally, we're always cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Cause, and it's not even enough to clean it because it's really just, just, you know, really, really bad. Like, yeah. it's, it's um, I'm sure there are other parts of Ultra that are nicer that were renovated. But the ones that we were given was just really bad. And so this was after the tournament. Of course, the results were, weren't good as well. As expected. As expected. And I think that... It, it comes with the preparation. What were the results? Um, we lost to Thailand. Yeah. We lost to Myanmar. We lost. We lost. We only won against like Singapore. Um, yeah. So I mean, the typical, typical. Like we were again in the same position where back in 2013, I'd say it was the closest. We were one nil against mm. Thailand, and then to fall back behind again to go like four nil against them. You know, just the results that. You already saw yourself so close, 
And then now, instead of keeping moving forward, we're taking three steps back. Mm. And again, a lot of that has to do with the preparation. Thanks for catching Across the Line. Uh, if you want us uh, to keep doing this, and mga episodes namin dito sa Across the Line, subscribe to us on YouTube. Download the episodes on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and on Spotify. You can also like and share uh, our videos on Facebook. And drop a comment para tuloy-tuloy dito ang aming ginagawa sa Across the Line.